The balance sheet of a company is a core financial statement. Here's a recent one from M&G and Asset Manager. What we are going to do is visualize this in various ways using Power BI and see if we can make it a bit more insightful for a general audience. So let's have a look. The balance sheet shows the assets, what the company owns at a particular point in time, at the end of uh, 2021, and for comparison, uh, the previous year also at the end of 2020. They're listed in a particular order. Against that, it shows the liabilities, equity and liabilities, what the company owes, equity, what it owes to its shareholders, and liabilities, uh, what it owes to other companies and people. Because this is a balance sheet, things do balance. The total equity of liabilities of 219 billion is equal to the total assets. We're now looking at some published reports in Power BI. This first page is simply showing us the data. We scraped it from the PDF and here it is. The second report is trying to reproduce the, uh, the PDF as well as it can. Um, Power BI has strengths in interactive visual re reporting, so we can't do it exactly, but we can do it well enough to check the numbers and reconcile the numbers. And we can see that the numbers agree exactly with the PDF report. In this next report, we've improved the balance sheet in two ways. The first is that we've added data bars, these blue bars to the uh, 2021 and 2020 columns. And that helps us see very quickly which of the assets are material or important and which are not. So we can see here that equity and debt uh, securities are important, are the most important. And likewise, we can see what are the most important items in the, the liabilities. The other thing that we've done is we've calculated the change between uh, the 2021 and 2020 figure. So in 2020, the goodwill was 1,495. In 2021, it had increased uh, to 1,615, which is an increase of 120. And again, what we can see again very quickly is what's important and what's not. We can see that over the year that there was a massive drop in reinsurance assets and we can see similar things also for where the liabilities have dropped as well. This is our first proper visual. It's a waterfall chart. Again, it focuses on the change uh, of value during the year. We've got a slicer here so that we can look at assets or equity or liabilities. If we look at assets, we can see that those items are ordered in the order from those that most increase the uh, asset value, equity securities and those that decrease it, reinsurance assets. And we can see that there's a lot of items that are hardly move at all. The blue bar at the end shows us the net change in the asset value throughout the year. Our last visualization is a pair of tree maps, assets on the left-hand side and liabilities on the right-hand side. And it shows the contribution of each item to the total, in this case, the total assets. It's not meant to directly compare individual items for it's hard to see whether cash is bigger than loans without actually having a look at the value. What it does show is that two items contribute the majority of all the assets and likewise for the liabilities. And it also shows that there's a long tail of much smaller categories there. In our next video, we'll build these visualizations step by step in tutorial fashion. We'll start with the data set that is here. We'll import that data set into uh, Power BI. Here it is in the query editor. We'll shape it so it's in a good shape to create the visualizations. And then we'll build the visualizations uh, f from that data and we will uh, format the visualizations so that they're appealing and insightful. I hope to see you on that video. Thanks for watching this.